Back to Tucson, South Tucson Police. I guess we're going to have to go through the, through dispatch. This is a non-emergency, repeat, non-emergency call from 2202 South 5th Avenue for an ongoing uh, internet terrorism issue that I would appreciate. Uh, I can't get, I, I tried to get through to the direct line in South Tucson, but I couldn't. The, did I give you the address yet? It's 2202 South 5th Avenue, number 2. Um, okay, um, what's going on today, sir? Please don't call me sir again. I'm not male. Uh, okay, I apologize. What's going on? It's just ongoing electronic harassment. Nothing of any consequence, and I just need a patrol officer that is somewhat fluent with computers to show up with a camera to document what I'm seeing on my screen. So it's, what There are over a hundred reports about this, ma'am. Please stop asking me questions and hand me to a dispatcher. Sorry, you in the text it is threats coming over the internet, ma'am. Now transfer this call, please. I don't need a transfer. I'm gonna put the call in, but you can answer my question. What kind of threat? Please. Ma'am, you just called me, sir, for the second time. You're going to hand this up to a supervisor, or I'm going to terminate the call. What is your name? T-O-M-M-I-E-W-A-S-S-E-R-B-E-R-G. I'm not female either. I'm intersex. But I go by she okay. or what it when you're talking about me. What is the good phone number for you? 520-241-2776. I absolutely do, but I do not have uh, uh, true names on either of them, only aliases. I have, there's, there's one person living in town that is within arm's reach of the TPD who is broadcasting incitement on the internet against me. There's another one who is uh, talking about coming here, walking in my door with a live screaming camera and beating me bloody. And when was the last time you got a threat, that you received a threat? How long ago? They're ongoing. Uh, anytime I go to either one of these sites, I can get a fresh one. Okay, so when was the last time you went into the site and got one? Uh, there's a call from last night when I discovered this, this new bit, and it was just like, okay, we need to talk about this. I need some pictures from you guys in a report. What's going to happen is I have to go to the court to get any kind of investigation ordered because none of the local agencies have uh, the manpower or jurisdiction to do anything. Okay. All right. So I do have a call in place. Thank you. Have to have to do a call back. No, we're cool. We're, we're cool. If, if they're not real busy, the South Tucson is real fast. Thank you. Happy day. It's like, lady, please stop making me lay this out for the 40,000th time. But it does help me polish my story. Notice the shirt's clean, the body's clean. Fuck you, idiots. You're just, you're just voyeurs. You're, you're just schadenfreude dependent voyeurs. You're pathetic. <laughs> the things you call me and, and then say that I, I am admitting to these things. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Especially when you try to tell, you know, I mean, if you're ever braced about this by 
anybody who's like wanting to know why the fuck you're doing this, how are you going to convince them that what I did is pedophilia when pedophilia requires a prepubescent uh, child? This was no prepubescent child I was talking about, you fucking idiots. And, and you better hope that the people bracing you about this have badges. <laughs> and I'm, I'm serious. I don't have to ask anybody. What, I, what it happened, I mean, I've had to stop people that have told me they were going to do it. Many times when I was, like, more visible, more of an influencer, and not just some fucking nutty old boomer hippie, a sexual predator. You people have no fucking intellectual fucking integrity. You have no intellectual honesty. You're just a bunch of disingenuous derps. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. The thing, your your logic is illogical. You you inject your own fantasies into everybody else's reality. I mean, God knows how many of the other law pals are threads are, are, are nothing but fiction and, and animosity by animated idiots. Crazy. You know, that, that fucking Japanese anime. I don't know. I've never watched any. I don't know what's really going on there, but it's, it's really twisting some kids' minds. Oh, bad. Bad. They're encouraging people to kill themselves or somebody else, and a lot of them follow through on it. It's real fucked up. So anyway, I'm at my desk right now with a call into the cops, and I wanted to, I got, I've been writing a lot this morning about all sorts of things. Here's, here's an interesting one. Here's an interesting piece that uh, is, why do you play music? If your number one answer isn't because it's fun, then you're in it for the wrong reason. So here's somebody who said, it's fun, takes me to places I would never go otherwise. It's warning, war rewarding, it's challenging, it's creative. To create is man's greatest accomplishment. Very first sentence in the Bible is God created. And then created man in his image so that man can and will also create the fucked up churches that you're obviously part of. But you're a nice guy and you play music instead. Um... <laughs> My answer to him was Arthur Schopenhauer believed that music was the highest expression of the human creative will. Of all the arts, it's the only one that's intangible. You can't touch music, only feel it. And the proper translation of the first line of the Torah is in the beginning when God began to create. Created suggests a completed act when the creation is open-ended with infinite possibilities. And then my, my own answer to the question was I play music so that I don't kill people when they try to impose their will on me without my consent. It's my psychotherapy. Piss me off and instead of punching you in the face, I go grab my horn and blow the anger out through it. When I'm grieving, I blow that out through the horn and when I want to have fun with it, I take it out to the street and make money with it too while I'm having fun getting people just walking down the street to start dancing. I love it when a big group comes by all bopping with me and three or four of them drop money in the case without breaking stride. For a busker, there's nothing more fun than stopping traffic with people dancing to your music. So there. I, I'm, I'm just really an angry old man that's like screams of trolls all day long. Let's see what Seven had to say. Oh. She's got a baby possum. She eats, she eats Cajun boiled peanuts and tosses the shell around. And there's, there's a baby possum that steals the shells in her trash. So now she's, now she's feeding him. They're friends now. Now she's talking about that. Um, this is some deep shit going on on D, D Nighthawk Robinson's wall again, because like, <laughs> he. He and I have been on, on, on convergent pathways for our entire lives. I'm a little bit older than him, but not much. Um, and I think, maybe not. I'll have to ask him. Um, 
And this started out with him saying, forgive me, but I might be the only person who doesn't like fall. Bring back summer and keep that pump and spice flavor out of my drink. Summer rules. And, you know, I, I, I had to say, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> you, you don't live in Tucson. I said, hey, that's easy for you to say. Come come spend the summer in Tucson. He's, so I lived in Tempe for three years. So I lived in Arizona still. I would shut up. <laughs> and I came back, especially Tempe. That's the armpit of the state. We're a little higher up, so it doesn't get to a hundred and something off or, or, or more as much for as long. People are much nicer here because when the mines closed, but land prices tanked. At the same time, people were fleeing the Rust Belt and counterculture folks were able to buy in cheap. This whole corner of the state's been cool and blue since the late 70s. Folks of European descent know their place on the land in relation to the three local nations. So we have very unique society here with indigenous music, arts, and crafts from all over the world at, at the festivals like Tucson Meet Yourself. It's good for them in preserving their culture's customs instead of getting assimilated into the American dream. We're also on the UN International Food City list. It could hit 100 by the end of April, and by mid-June it's over 100 and not coming down much until the end of August or mid-September. So like 8 or 12 weeks of too hot and then 40 weeks of bombing. I've been here eight years, obviously. I suddenly knew that. person in my um, chatter is a young pre-op I've known since she was 17 and now she's going on 23 24 and working trying to earn enough money to get her surgery and we're talking about that this morning I'm also going to be like, I have a friend who has a childhood friend that's struggling right now and coming out and living authentically that we've been talking to and about this morning that I'm going to want to read eventually too. Um, oh, I want to open my door so I know when the props get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our community 
Yeah. Okay, so here I am doing my, my, my thing online and attracting, you know, doing the surveillance the whole time. I, 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 I log in for a break and I'm like, Parker's missing. Uh, oh, and I'm online 30 minutes before I, I got hit by somebody I chased back into the airport there. So here's this character, Tom Rivera, calling himself Bucket on this one site from another message board. They're pretty much directing the whole show. And there's another character named Thomas Buckler who works for the NIMA. Do you know what that is? National Institute of uh, Modern History? Mental Health. Uh, okay. They've never been able to like uh, arrest me for anything that they told me long enough to do anything to shut me up, right? Yeah. So like I've been, I've been taking this class well over 100 times in the last four years. And uh, at least 50 of those times, they couldn't write anything to them, so they just made up a bogus uh, site for their ideas to get me out of the way. Um, so, to bring it into the here and now, this crew of AMD recruited a crew at a place called Kiwi Farm. This is a notorious stalker site. Owned by a fat fetishist and Jewish kid who is apparently being like controlled by the Mossad. Oh, okay. Uh, and they key on queer arts. They love queer arts because queer arts is reactive and pop back. Um, and they've driven a few of them off the edge to kill themselves, but they don't seem to kill others. Uh, they've been connected. So, in town, you have an individual calling himself Tammy Doxfield. Tom, Tommy Big Girl or Tammy Doxfield. Yeah. Has a YouTube channel where she's broadcasting. She calls herself a, a, a transgender documentarian and a gatekeeper to protect LGBT spaces from people like me. When people like me have spent the last 50 years making it possible for us you know, and we've been protected for the last 22 years of people. So, you know, she is claiming to be like this, you know, she's here in town, claiming to be like representing the transgender community, protecting them from this dangerous, creepy old sexual predator. Yeah. Okay, so that's the site. The other one, and she's only on that one site. The other one's on both sites. He has a channel called Millennial Turkeys, plus a few other stuff. And YouTube refuses, doesn't even respond when we make a complaint about the invasion of privacy or the rip off of that IP. Can't get anything done unless I sue. I can't get sued. And I can't get the law enforcement to prosecute anything. But at least Sergeant Pike is like recognizing that they're federal crimes, and that's when they get to court. That's why they take the court. So that's why you're here. I have stuff to show you on the computer. And the camera has been running this whole time. I'm going to introduce the rest of the watch. Okay. Uh, it's not live. It's going into a box. So oh, okay. you're, you're playing. You're playing for the camera. Okay. Wait. Before we do that, do you want me? Do you want me to just supplement Sergeant Pike's case? Yes. Okay. So yeah. That was what the problem was. Okay. Yeah. It, it was about harassment to begin. His case is yeah. harassment. Yeah. This is just a supplement to that. Okay. Case. Yeah. Great. And what should I call you? Uh, you just say Officer Sproul. Okay. Uh, I prefer Mr. Are you okay with that? Okay. Um, and, and I'm Tommy. Okay. Or Ms. Washington, whichever you prefer. Okay. Or you can call me Ms. Tudor, too. That's my stage name. Would you? Tudor? <laughs> no, I'm Tommy Tudor. Oh, okay. Tommy Tudor. Okay. Yeah, I'm Tommy Tudor. I'm okay. Tommy J. Tudor. Awesome. All right. That's what I, I get. There are very few people left on the planet that understand what that means. They got me into this fucking place. It's serious fucking grave compared to most places. We're cops on me to make sure I'm not the same, right? Oh, wow. I mean, that's me. I mean, Gilbert Godfrey's funnier than Lincoln Lee Bolden. Okay, I have to play to the family. No, yeah. And cops! Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, I'm a street artist. I I, I don't have a contract with with, uh, that's, that, with security. I, I everything was pulled out because. Um, are you familiar with what happened next door? Oh yeah, with the uh, building condemned. No, this next apartment it, was it actually condemned? Yeah, there's a notice on there. It's unsafe to occupy. Oh yeah, well they uh, I hadn't seen that yet. They ripped it out. It had to because like she, the place was just totally cabin, cat cat done. So let, let's let's uh. Okay, this is Officer Spruill of the South Tucson Police Department coming to supplement Sergeant Pike's uh, internet terrorism report. I don't have any of the tabs open that we need. Nope, we better stay there too. Let's just, let's get rid of this one. Don't need that one, don't need that one, and don't need that one. But this one, gotta keep, gotta keep. That's my blog, my games, and Facebook. That's, I gotta keep that open. Um, let's start though with the fresh um, screen caps. Come on. I don't think I've even started capping uh, this latest one with, with Tammy Doc because she just started in on me and it's like, oh, it's good. I, I stopped capping all of it, you know, because it's just too much. I, I, I stay out. Here's me discussing the situation with uh, one of the administrators on the Kiwi Farm site. Oh, okay. I'm getting ready to sue all, you know, what I'm putting together is a, a, a Title 42, Section 1983 complaint against the law enforcement and the site hosts with a motion for ordering a RICO investigation. That's what I'm after here. Oh, okay. Let me get a screenshot of this. Great. Okay, let's see what else is in here. I, I, I have two, two folders here. I, I put ones I knew were going to be pertinent. No, that's not. I don't even know why I saved that. Oh, I know why I saved that because I was... Okay, that's not it. They're in the snippets. Nothing recent from there. This one, this is they, they what they've been doing is um, this is a transgender person in South Carolina. Um, the one today is in uh, Tucson. There was one in uh, um, like Yukon or something like that, and another oh, one wow. in Britain. I mean, they've been after me for five years, and they 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 they, they you know Stockholm syndrome. Oh yeah, yeah. They 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 condition these people with a bunch of bullshit about me and set them on me. And let me get down to the main stalker. Here he is. Give you the most recent shit from him. Does this show what what this does? These these this this ones. Um. Okay, here's where he's admitting that um, he's uh, he's on both sites. Oh, okay. There's one guy that's on on uh, uh, that's also in, in reach of you guys uh, by the name of Gary Dean Purdue, who's involved in all this. And I had I got a uh, uh, he's he's up right around here somewhere, exactly where I don't know, like you know up in the in the hills somewhere. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and supposedly on Apache man. Oh, wow. Um, well, he, he claims to have an Apache old lady, but the guy's like totally dishonest and you never know what, what's real with the dude. He's, he's actually a junkie. He's a opioid pill. 
three. Oh, okay. And uh, but he has been dogging me for twelve years. He's he's been the single individual that I can identify that's been after me the longest and has been spreading the this you know the defamation into three different communities. Uh, those, those, those two boards and the Rainbow Family at Facebook. Oh, okay. Um, so you got this one? Yeah. Okay. Is this from Kiwi Farms? Yeah, that's Kiwi Farms. Let's see, this is just, here. here's just somebody inciting. Um... And, and they're not, let, let's see if we can get that magnify. Oh, no, that's just, I don't think that's really important. This is just, because uh, you, you won't be able to see this. Um, this is just, uh, I'll, get, I'll get this one. I know what this is. This is him admitting that uh, he's stalking me and that the uh, accusation, th this, this that you can't see, mm -hmm. that's, a different, that's a different one. I'll get that one up for you. That's that's further back. That's that's he's admitting that uh, pedophile dog fucker is inaccurate. It's, it's not real, and that he's following me, and he intends to do it until he destroys me because he enjoys it. He has fun. Oh wow! I mean, I, I, it's a it's a mental illness. I want to describe as sadomasochistic voyeurism. That that's sounds what, fairly accurate. Yeah, I mean me. that's what these people are about. They run around the web pissing people off just for just for the Schadenfreude rush. Mm -hmm. And then when these, uh, you know, uh, rogue security contract, you know, mercenary motherfuckers get, get in there. Oh, yeah. And, and they're, they're filling these people's heads full of crazy shit. People get hurt. Oh, yeah. People die. You know, they, they, they swatted me three times. Really? Yeah. Man, that's some serious stuff. First time they said the whole place was on fire and there was a whole fucking battalion dispatched. Second time, they said they, they had the guy on the phone for 45 minutes, show you how fucking incompetent TPD's uh, cyber patrol is. They had the guy on four, 45 minutes, couldn't trace him, telling them that I was inside, going to kill myself. Wow. Fucking SWAT. You know, you know what they responded with, because you've probably been there a few times. <laughs> Man. <That laughs> Fortunately, is... I called in and came out with my phone like this. Oh. Okay. But they still, it took them 10, 15 minutes to, like, realize what the fuck was going on. Yes. Yeah, and they went is, inside and trashed my apartment anyway. Yeah, swatting is a serious deal. People, like you said, people get killed over that sometimes. And I was live streaming at the time. On what uh, streaming service? You boob. Okay. So let's, let's move it right along. How's, how's, the, how's the actual, like, property crime and shit around here? I mean, it's running rampant, I would say. Yeah, well, you got some heroin dealing over by the Chichi market. Oh, okay. I mean, that's all I want to say about it in front of a lot of camera. There's a, a native sister floating around, too, that needs some assistance. I mean, she kind, of, kind of whoever your homeless folk are. Yeah. You tip them to this woman. I, 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 I had to spend about 50 bucks or... I mean, and I was out looking to find somebody to spend it on because I had a lot of extra benefits. But this girl got, I mean, she's about maybe 35 to 45, um, doesn't appear to be on any hard drugs. Native girl with a scruffy, like, rat terrier looking thing. Um, hmm. Crushed ankle. Hmm. I think I have an idea who you're talking ben, about, but I don't know. Yeah, she, she needs, somebody needs to get her up out of the street into a, you know, a, a decent living condition and I, she has friends that she can walk in on and keep herself clean but that you know when Nothing I found her she was looking like oh my god that thing's almost gangrenous wow wow so I, I bought her a bunch of wound care stuff and the next time I saw her was looking you know the the, the bandaging and everything looked clean look better yeah oh, I, okay. I she had she she had her toes covered so I couldn't see them uh, but the bandages were clean hmm well, good on you for doing that. Oh, well, I had good training. Oh, yeah? I'm a Hebrew Israelite. My, my ancestors were the priests and scribes, and I grew up in Lakeview in Chicago. Oh, okay. Are you familiar with that? Yeah. Okay. Enough said. I'm a boomer from Lakeview. Queer boomer from Lakeview. I'm, I'm, I'm programmed this way. I, I, I've lived my life. You know, I, 
me and the Navy couldn't come to terms, and I've served in the streets for the last since I got. Oh, out. you were Navy. I should have been, but I we they couldn't give me a contract. I was I was going so on. Oh, okay. I'm a marine biologist. Wow. And, and I wanted to fly back seat in my fucking Tomcat or be the laundry officer on the Enterprise. No fucking way. So no. Yeah. You know, they want me to, yeah, in Vietnam, they wanted, you know, they wanted me to go brown water sailing on the Mekong River with a helmet on my helmet, a target on my helmet, riding backseat for assholes like John Kerry. No, I want to go brown water sailing. I'll do it on Mississippi and nobody will shoot at me. Yep. You ever, you ever seen uh, Muhammad Ali's uh, speech outside the courthouse when he was resisting a draft? No, I haven't. Look it up. Okay. You have one similar, huh? You have one similar. No, I volunteered. Oh, okay. Uh, but I would, <laughs> what happened with me is uh, I took the physical and everything on a Friday, and I was supposed to report Monday morning, and Nixon canceled the draft over the weekend. And uh, I was like, well, they can't guarantee me OCS. They want five with only a high school diploma, and they want five years at sea first. Oh, wow. So it's like, nah, I think I'll go get my college degree. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I w I'm a conscientious objector. My family, we're, we're, my, my, I have a great uncle who was a uh, uh, COE battalion commander under Patton. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, had a couple of bomber pilots. My dad was a PBX instructor between the wars at Fort Monmouth. I mean, I come from a regular reserve family of professional people, but are ready to serve our skills to the common good. Yeah. Um, and my generation, uh, the youngest person uh, of my father's family uh, was forced into Vietnam because he got busted for uh, some drug in New York and he was told, well, you can do three years in Attica or three years in the Army. So he took Army um, and came home with the, with the, with the monkey on his back Oh. Uh, because he had uh, witnessed a major fragging colonel during the siege of Hue. Wow. Yeah. So my generation's like, oh, we got student deferments. We're cool. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and my cousin, the oldest one of my generation, my cousin, is total 4F. I mean, you can't hardly fucking see club feet, that whole, you know, whole smear. Um, and he pulled number one in the draft. Wow. In the first draft lottery, his birthday was number one, but it's like they didn't want him and he didn't want them. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's get back to business. Uh shit. Uh which way are we going here? Okay, that's a Sophie LaBelle. That's in the wrong direction. We need to go backwards on him. Okay, that's yeah, here's where he's admitting. Okay. He's admitting to having reported a comment that he should not have been able to see. And this is Sneasel? That's the main stalker from Kiwi Farms. Oh, okay, this is from Kiwi Farms? Yeah, but this is on A and B. You know, he's one of the people that's on both also sides. Also on a separate side. There are two main stalkers, and they both got two backups. They both got at least one backup. The, uh, the A and B guys are... Uh, uh, Patrick Kelly calling himself uh, the Big Al Key Logger. I think he changed it to the Dead Al Key Logger because Big Al's dead now. Um, T B A K L, and I think he changed it to T D A K L. That's his. That's his alias now. Uh, he's a uh, archivalist, Marine Corps archivalist. Oh, okay. You know, so he, he's a dirty dog. Seriously, dirty dog. Um, he's 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 snatching my he's snatching uh, gifts. From my videos and putting obnoxious um, captions and shit on them, and you know, defamatory crap that they're spreading around and making money from. That's not good. No, it's totally illegal, civil, criminal, and I can't afford a lawyer. And local police don't have the jurisdiction or manpower to do anything about it. And the feds, it's way beneath their threshold. So it's kind of in a gray area. Yeah, the only way out of, out of this is if you got at least twenty thousand dollars to pop to a lawyer. Wow. Or to the district attorney to, you know, light a fire under somebody. 
Yeah. Wow. So that's where I'm at. Um, I can't even get a decent consultation out of the lawyer over this. It's just way too complex. I imagine so. Well, it's a 20-year investigation into organized cybercrime. Then I can't get into anybody's, you know, in anybody's hands. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm totally blacked out. I mean, that's like what you do, what they do to people like me. is just erase us as best they can. Yeah. Um, so I can't, you know, I can't, I, I mean, even Dan Mara, or is that his name, Dan? One of the local guys. I mean, he interviewed me casually one night. And I think it was Mari. Mari, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were at a Top Dead Center show at the Hut, and he was impressed, and he was talking to me, and he was telling me his car, and yada, 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 and then when, then when I tried to get to him to, like, you know, lay this whole thing out, crickets. Um, what's his name, Bud? Oh, okay. Bud, the other one, the, the older guy, Bud. Yeah. I ran into him doing, uh, you know, he's ch we chatted each other up several times, because I bust downtown while he's doing stories. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he won't, you know, I bring it up and he just, he don't want me in here. He'll talk about all local dirt all day long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he didn't want to hear about that shit. Like, no. So, this one is important because he should not, the, 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 the comment was in a local group, I mean, a private group, and he reported it within minutes of me posting it. Which wow. is pretty much hard evidence, strong evidence of a key logger. He couldn't, he shouldn't have been able to see me post where I posted, when I posted. Just shouldn't have been able to see it. Have you reached out to these websites? Do they have like a crickets supporter? They, uh, they don't respond. Wow. They totally don't. Re you can't get a human from Facebook. No way. Oh no, yeah. I, uh, yeah. And the same thing with YouTube. I've never had. I, they've never responded. It's usually an automated system, right? It's all automated, yeah. Which is, you know, I've got them. I think I've got it. Where I've got them is on violations of their toss, where they're allowing people to do things that they say are forbidden to me. And then when I report it, they don't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going after these people as an individual is just like futile. Don't even bother. Suing them, civil suits, um, if you look, you know, look at the history of another uh, of Kiwi Farms, Josh Connor Moon, the owner, has been sued numerous times, and it goes nowhere. Cause oh really? Yeah, the stuff they're suing him for is protected by the First Amendment. Wow. I mean, you know, there's no law against laughing at somebody you think, you think is stupid. No, you're right. You know, these people are complaining about invasion of privacy and shit, and it's like, hey, you're a public figure, tough shit. Mm -hmm. Um. What you got to go after him for, you know, actually breaking the law um, and criminal law because then breaking civil law, it's, you know, like, you know, IP, you know, copyright infringement and shit like that. <laughs> Again, I mean, for that, to go after him for copyright infringement for something like this, for, for a person like me, it's, it's, not, it's not cost effective. Yeah. You know, it costs too much. It takes too long. I need, I need, I need this shut down before somebody takes the law in their hands and hurts me, and that can only be done by law enforcement. And you guys are in no position to do anything because you don't, you don't got, you don't got a cyber crew, and you don't got the jurisdiction. All you can do, and I discussed this with, uh, uh, shit, he's a captain now. He was lieutenant then. Now what was his name? Over, over, um, I'm losing it. The guy right under Kazmerzak. I, I oh, hit, okay. It was, I forget what his name was. It was when... I don't think it was Strader. No, 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 no. Um, it was before Kazmierzak was chief. Kazmierzak was still a captain. And this guy was under him in the chief's office. Uh, I hit up Kazmierzak and then he referred me to this guy. And this guy, you know, very clear. You don't have the jurisdiction. You don't have the manpower. All you can do is be a reporting agency. But then... I can't get any of you guys to forward it on anywhere. I gotta pick up the reports and take them somewhere and, and ha make something happen with them. Is where we're at. So, I, I haven't read what Sergeant Pike's already written. No, I'll document everything. Um, you but no, I'm, I'm 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 counting on you guys to like really get what I'm saying properly without making me look like a fucking idiot, which is what the Tucson police have been doing. 
So wow. besides Sneasel, what was the other user's name? Um, the they have Sneasel. Okay. Sneasel, Sneasel. The main stalkers are Sneasel based at Kiwi Farms and this T D A K L, uh, T D A K L or T B A K L, the Big Al like Al Key Logger or the Dead Al Key Logger, and oh, his okay. true name is allegedly Patrick Kelly. Those are the two main stalkers. And they're both on Kiwi Farms? Uh, I don't know what Kelly's username is at Kiwi Farms if he's there. Oh, okay. He might just be lurking there. Um, he, he only actively posts at, uh, at uh, another message board, and he's collaborating with a guy named Chandra uh, Sechata, who uses the name uh, Nylandon or Soil. He's a hacker that works for the uh, Kerala government in India. Oh, okay. And those two are running all the channels that uh, AMB is running, all the fake all the fake players. You know, I mean, there's just imposters and channels, you know, fucking with my shit all over the place that uh, this Kelly and uh, Sachata were running. And then this idiot and uh, Someone going, his business is called Millennial Turkeys. Mm -hmm. That they got a channel, he's got several channels at YouTube, like Lol Tom Stat, and I forget what all else. I mean, they even have a, a video game that they put together out there at YouTube, a defamatory vid video game. Um, they're totally trashing my business. You know, I, 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 I've, been, I've been dealing in in conflict-free natural stones and metaphysical trade for 35 years. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, you probably can you feel it if great, you're sensitive to yeah. it. Oh, okay. Because I feel there is kind of a... That's all medicine stone, man. Mm. I can't describe it, but... Well, you see all those crystals in the center of the table? Yeah. Those have never been exposed to dynamite or backhoe. Those are hand dug. Everything in the center of the table, all hand dug. Wow. And and people who are, are who are live in the spirit can feel the spirit of the stone. And and I'm you know I'm not one of the new age hucksters. I'm like a hereditary medicine person who's been trained by natives. You know, I've been trained by my own people and trained by natives a lot here. And I've been dealing honestly in this for a long, long time. Wow. And they're trying to destroy it. Oh, this is an amazing setup you have here. Yeah, thanks. Basically, what you're looking at is um, we're real things. That was my sign. Our sign. We're kind of a loose collective of hippie artists. So we'll, you know, we'll do a show together, a hippie department store to show us. Mm -hmm. So this all packs up. Everything packs up and goes out the door to put in a ten by ten. Or, you'd or be a, you'd be a hit at the gem show. I've been working uh, the Rapid River show on and off for the last 30 years. Oh, okay. I do real well there. I, that's, that's that's where most, a lot of that stuff I bought there. Oh, really? Yeah. Because uh, that's where, that show is where the diggers come. You know, uh, that that is the, you know, the Rapid River show? Mm -hmm. That show is the oldest independent of the uh, Gem, Gem Mineral Society. Wow. And it's family run. And uh, that's where the diggers go. You got, you got, I mean, yeah, there's hardly, you know, you get, you get wore out in these, you know, with the cheap fucking specimens and manufactured crap, tents and tent loads of them. And here's Rapper River with small tables of guys from all over the world with shit like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's the show. And then, you know, their manufactured merchandise is usually like, you know, ethnic stuff from somewhere. There's a, you know, there's a Tibetan dealer that comes every year, and uh, wow, like, yeah, like this year there was a guy that was uh, crocheting hippie hats right there in the front. Um, so you know, it's it Rapid River. You know, I mean, that's the hippie show. We've been involved in it for 40, 50 years or something like that. Wow, that's it. You know, that's one of the reasons that uh, you know you'll see so many hippies around that are peddling their jewelry and playing music and stuff is because. The police recognize that we're part of the Tucson culture, so they watch out for us rather than give us a fucking hard time. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as everybody's smiling, 
Gotcha, cool. And no, we don't know. They, none of them except the assholes hit us up for permits or make us get the shit out of the roadway. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, this is a special town because it's a you know it's a tourist based tourist and student based economy. Yeah. So cops can't be pricks. No, you're right. Can't get away with being pricks in this town. No, it doesn't pay to be like that. Okay, so we got this one right. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's keep moving back through this clown because he's the main dude. Here's here's the admission. Oh, okay. Here's the admission. He knows he's doing something fucked up that isn't real. So we can move on to the others. Let's let's get. Uh, I don't think I I really have. I haven't been I haven't been shooting this the the uh, much of the I don't think I even had one that I started for McGill. Let's see. I don't see anything. Uh, let's see if we got any millennial I don't think I've been shooting this idiot. I mean this is all new stuff and it's like man, I've been dealing with trolls for twenty two years. I got I got better things to do with my time than this. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to the site. I don't see any more here that are gonna be any that are fresh enough for you. Make sure this is nothing I need to. Yeah, it is. My favorite niece. We're talking about her gender confirmation surgery. She's working very hard to try to save money for, it. and now she just told me that she's planning on uh, now she's planning. She's telling me she's planning on going to one of the worst surgeons in the business. Oh wow! I think it's the woman that, that I think she's talking about going to the same one that botched Jazz Jennings. Hopefully she gets some resources of where to go. Well, all I know is that the two transgender gender surgeons have a very bad reputation. Really? Well, I'm a non-op, so I kind of stay out of this conversation unless I've got somebody close to me, right? Mm -hmm. um, McGann and Bowers have both done some boxing, and they have a bad reputation for uh, post-op care. Wow. The one, the one that most of the local women go to that are very pleased with is a uh, guy in, he, he's got two locations, one of them's up around Phoenix, uh, is a guy named Toby Meltzer. But, and, and there's somebody that claims that he botched them, um, that's trying to destroy his reputation, you know, with the, you know, with the hate, with the hate stuff, and um, I went looking at it, and well, that was an isolated case. Yeah. Where most people go, oh, yeah. And and he's got the reputation for being the one that they take the bot jobs to repair to. So I got to get off Facebook. None of this is important to deal with right now. And we'll go first. Let's go to another message board and show you the direct threats. This guy said he's coming here to stomp me. Here, and here's the fresh stuff right here. Let's see what. Okay, that's not. Well, this ought to be good for a few apps. I sent. Um, I made a video, man, uh, of four demands I had of the site owners to hold them harmless for acts of individuals on their sites. And I sent it to two people confidentially, and one of them broke confidence. Oh, wow. So this is a thread. With, uh, this is the broke confidence thread. Well, actually, there's two of them. How many demands? Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Oh, well, here's a winner. Oh, and Ashley. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You want this one. Oh, okay. Ashley Wilkes is a high-ranking prick in the organization, and he hardly ever puts out anything that long. 
So this is this is some this is some very crafted uh, disinformation, gaslighting, you know, def defamatory, you know, uh, uh, reflections of you know, de trying to discredit you know. Or Bucket could simply be an innocent party who made Tom made fun of Tom once and thereby became the target of a palpably insane man's rage. Well, I'm not palpably insane. This is the TDA. A, uh... Is this the other? This is the this is called? the main stalker. Okay. And this is the guy who's been stalking yeah, okay, me for right. ten years, twelve years almost, I think, at least. Uh, yeah. The bucket character may have been uh, stationed at Ansurlik the night I got broken in in 1999. Oh wow. Yeah. I mean, I could I could I, you know, it got ugly in 2005 when I discovered a white supremacist group. Connected to Scam.com's owner, and I exposed it. Oh, okay. It got real ugly from there on. Mm -hmm. um, and that was about 2005. Okay, Josie. That was about 2005. It got real ugly. They they zapped the computer so bad that when when it blew, uh, it blew out the graphic controller on the mainboard. Uh, the AGD controller, mm -hmm. and I had, a, I had a big stack, big power stack, because my dad was in the business at the time. I had a power conditioner, a UPS and shit. So when it dumped, when it dumped that spike to ground, it snapped the neighborhood breaker. Holy crap. Yeah, right, holy crap. I mean, that's how, yeah, and FCC won't do anything because that's inter-office communications, according to them, outside, you know, FCC Rule 15, I think it was. You know, you got to take whatever comes and not put out anything harmful that uh, the FTC can detect. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they are, no, I don't know, you know, NSA is watching everything, just sucking everything and storing it. Um, and uh, you know, anything they can read, they keep. And anything that looks readable, they'll grab it. Um, and, uh, you know, this call may be uh, monitored and, <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, yeah. It is everything they have to just to keep the signals from, from crashing each other. Hmm. Um, so anyway, this is this could this crew this the, the we're wrong page here. This crew at AMB. Um, see, this is the kind of stuff that you know they're 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 trying to make it like I'm insane. Just you know, yell yeah, I'm insane, wasting your cops time, uh, trying to get people busted for making fun of me. When these people are like interfering in my life, causing financial harm, telling lies to people on the street. There was, you know, an incident with the gem show a couple of years ago where a dude told the guy I was a convicted sex of, a registered sex offender. And when the cop showed up and told him I wasn't, he showed him this doctor video where it looks like I'm admitting to all these things, all these sex offenses that I, it looks like I'm admitting to a bunch of sex offenses when I'm listing the ones I'm being falsely accused of. So that dude threw me out. Threatened the guy I was working with to, to throw him out if he didn't get rid of me. And then the next year, he jacked me up, called me a thief in front of a guy I've been doing business with for 20 years. Threw me out of that show again. Wow. Rapper River, he guy owns five hotels. Rapper River's the only one I'm totally safe in. Because so it's, it's a privately aware? held. Okay. Well, they're aware of what's going on, but I don't know if they've done anything. But mom is dying too slowly from Alzheimer's. And the son is like... I don't, you know, it's only a part-time job for him. They only open that thing during the year, you know, during the season. They don't open it any, a, a, except for that few weeks. Yeah. Um, so I have no idea. You know, and it, it was way too busy for him to intercede during the show. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm at my table making money, and then I go off to somebody else and buy some more shit, right? I couldn't go to any of the shows because of this guy. Wow. You know, so that's demonstrable financial harm that's being caused. Uh, I've been run out of uh, the, uh, and this, this we'll get to that, where they're trying to destroy my access to social networks. Hmm. I've been run out of the, I've been run out of the local, uh, uh, the, that, the, the Grateful Dead crowd at the for, at the hut with the lie. Somebody showed up on uh, Labor Day, telling the world I was a pedophile, and uh, the manager believed him, threw me out. Wow. And. Uh, and then they also got Saga, you know them? Oh, yeah. And they, you know, convinced them that I'm a pedophile. And they ran me out. Lisa Trujillo, you know her? Mm -hmm. 
How well? She does a. She does. Um. Oh my goodness. She's doing podcasts with Dr. Drew. Yeah. It's, I forget his last name. That's what I'm trying to think of. No, I know who she is. I mean, I don't know her very well. Yeah. Well, they got to her. And Carol Brosheen, I guess, uh, and, and JP, whatever his name is, that that you know that group that's kind of off to the side doing the the equality Arizona work. Oh, okay. Um, I forget what they call it. Um, I was part of that. I spoke. You know, I I I I, I work with HRC and PFLAG, and somebody sent me to a school board meeting, and uh, things were way cool for for a while, and then these people come in there with the lies. Um, so let's finish with these guys and get over to that. Yeah, they're just discussing the, in, in this, they're just discussing the, uh, Mechanics of running a troll base. Oh, okay. You no, know, I'm a Magoo. Um, there, and I'm a person of interest at Kiwi Farms. And there are things that you do to these people's profiles that they have no control over. And that's what they're talking about. So let's go find the threats. See here, this is the kind of shit, you know, they do. You know, I have, according to them, I have COPD. I've got uh, skin cancer on my leg. Uh, I've got lung cancer now. And, and what's really going on is I, I, I had a near fatal accident in 1999. There's a, and you can see how my face has been a little rearranged, right? There's a plate right here coming up through the jaw. So it's an open port of entry for bugs. So this has been chronically inflamed for a long, long time. And sometimes it flares. And it needs to come out. And my doctor is saying that my smoking increases the chances of it turning cancerous. Now, we're not talking about my lungs. My lungs are in real good shape, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about my throat. And it's potentially cancerous. Oh, okay. I need to get this out. I need to quit smoking. Everything's good. This innocent little sis, they're calling... Skin cancer or something. Oh, you gotta get that out. Man, it's a fucking epidermoid cyst. I can't even feel it. I don't even notice it unless, you know, somebody points it out. Yeah. Um. So, you know, they're, they're portraying me as unhealthy, mentally unhealthy, physically unhealthy, just doddering old, uh, uh, you know, somebody who's in dementia and uh, late phase dementia and all this other happy horse shit. When I'm a, a, an artist in my golden years, just breaking into the public eye. Mm -hmm. Enough said, huh? I agree, yeah. Thank you. You know, here's... See, this is the kind of stuff they put on my posts. Here, I'm... I'm uh, and this was... This was... Uh, I, I, I've been... You know... Because my tag is Hippie Historian, and then I've got a sub tag, a tag that, that about what I'm writing about. And then they grab it and put shit like this on it and share it around. Okay. Wow. Okay. You know, they totally, you know, they're totally trying to, you know, make me un uncreditable. Yeah. And trying to incite people to either hurt me or arrest me. And it's that, there's that pattern there all over both sides. And they brag about it because you guys can't do anything about it. So this whole server needs to be seized and examined because I'm not the only target. There are secret forums, hidden forums. Um, you know, this, this is a cyber terrorist base. And and these guys are professionals. I I got one of them fired from General Dynamics for working on it for you know fucking around on the job. Oh wow, good. Um, you have anything else you want me to photograph? Yeah, we got to get 
the uh, the and we haven't even gotten to the other site yet. Let's get the let's get the direct threat. Okay. Oh. See, this is the kind of stuff, you know, these people are, are, are totally judging my lifestyle, my being. Here's a prick that claims to not be part of it, and other people are telling me he's one of the higher-ups. Who, you know, he plays good cop, baits oh, okay. me. So now here he's, 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 he's standing in judgment on me for the way I train, my, you know, aggression train my dogs. Yeah, I punch him real fucking hard. But not, not as punishment, as play. You see all them spots on my arms? Yeah. You know what those are from? No, what is that? That's from working with dogs without a fucking pads. Oh, wow. They were my dogs. I'm allowed to hit them and kick them and let them bite me. <laughs> no, that's... And, and for the 25 years that I traveled with those dogs, I hardly ever had to get very physical with anybody. Hmm. You know, we were well known for being peacekeepers at, at these festivals. Nobody fucked around with town and lady were on the set at all. Not the cops either. Yeah. You know, we were part of the team that worked with you guys at those things. And these guys don't realize that. They think I'm some fucking old junkie. I'm, I'm a semi famous hippie. They just had to be there to know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, we, you know, I was there. I was there tonight, Sly Stone didn't show up in Grand Park. You know that story? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was there that night. Fortunately, I was near the stage and was able to sneak off. Oh, yeah, I, was <laughs> I was up and out of the park and out of the bus before they even broke through the park. Have you ever been in something like that? No. Oh, my God. I just all of a sudden, all of this, okay, he's not coming. Everybody got to go home. <laughs> so as soon as they said that, the CPD is coming on horseback and foot. The shields and sticks and, oh, yeah. and, and 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 everybody else is panicking coming you know they're coming from the west and everybody's panicking coming from the east to clear the park because you gotta get out the park through Mission Morning. So here I'm just like right in the middle of it. There's rocks and bottles flying one way and tear gas grenades coming the other way. Oh, wow. I'm like, I'm on it. I you know, the old band shell, I was able to sneak along the edge of it, get up out of it, and I'm in Michigan Avenue before they even it, it, Probably before the cops and the crowd ever, ever actually engaged. I was out of there. Good. Good on you for being speedy. Yeah. But I've been at hemp festivals and shit where it went south a few times. Yeah. Okay. Let's, well, let's, let's wrap this up. I'm taking too much of your time in the middle of the day. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Yep. Give me a few minutes. Alright, bye-bye. Boxing training. Well, that's fine. Well, that's fine. You know, instead of just... Well, here's... Let's see what we got here. Because this is... This is... Here's... Oh, this is Commie Dick Girl? Yeah, this is the Commie Dick Girl. And he's claiming it's her girl, his girlfriend. This guy is uh, the manipulator. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, the groomer. Okay. Of the people that they're setting on me. And this is his partner. See? That's our girlfriend. They're, they're grooming him. Or her. Or them. I call them them. You know, I won't, I won't indulge transsexuals, what, assholes like that, by, you know, kissing their feet and their, their, their holy womanhood. Uh, I call them them. Um, and they usually call me a uh, real ugly thing. So I don't know what this one's about. Here, you want? So I'm like people being hurt, but also like I'm not opposed to yelling, getting mad, saying things forcefully, making a big deal out of something. I mean, we have free speech, right? But it seems like it's all about free speech for hate speech, just protecting hate speech. And nothing else. And I just think that society has something to really think about here. Um, she's this reaction, you know, she's, we call them the trans Taliban. You know, oh, okay. You know, the advocates and local organizers historically have a reputation for being real gracious with a good sense of humor. Yeah. And not so confrontational and demanding like these kids are. 
So that's enough to say about that. Let's find what we need to get for you. These are the two partners from... These are these are the, the threats? Well, this is the guy making the threat. Sneasel? No, Jimmy McGill. Oh, okay. He's the guy making the threat. Let's go find that post. There are several of them. Let's go find one of those. Let's let's wrap this for you because you got somebody after you. Well, this ought to be good for a few laps. This is the site owner. Probably want to take a picture of this shit. Okay. Yeah, here he's offering to sell me illegal information. That's what that is. Where the fuck is it? Tom's going to jail. This would be good for a few hours. Oh, they think I'm going to get busted for an old uh, uh, a pot ticket that I didn't pay off. <laughs> That's what they think. Um, and as I understand, it's real easy to get those things uh, expunged now that it's legal. Come on. I guess they, they've got so much other stuff going on that the, that the threat has gotten buried. Something new to the last. Oh. One of the abandoned cats. And this ought to be good for a few laughs. This is Butler. Is this the threats? No, this is the this is this is this is the Kevin Hoffman Associates is like the gang. Okay. And uh, I don't know if it's real or not, but uh, they claim to be like uh, transporting uh, like massive amounts of contraband through here with under the protection of the TPD. Well, it's not good. I think it's all bullshit. Use gas like people like me into doing stupid things. Um, and I don't know what he's talking about in particular. Some operate, you know, I have no idea what that is because it's, it's just they're professional liars. You know, I, I'm just smelling the whole way out. I know what they're trying to do to me because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I've read the manuals. Let's find that. They're, they're really bothering. They want you for something. What's going on, if you may ask? Oh, I don't know. My boss is calling me back. Here we go. Okay. There you go. We can go to the other side and get a sample of the kind of shit Tommy Dick or or, or or here's where we can get. Here, let's. I know we don't have to waste our time. You get an idea of what kind of shit she's saying on the other oh, side. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't need to uh, get any pictures of her postings. Uh, no, I saw that was. Yeah, let's more get a pic. For me to let's get a picture of her uh, Tommy Tudor video though. And then I, and then you can get, you can get going. And I can get back to work. We've been at, I've been at this for a little too long today. I was doing other things. See, you, you, if you look real quick, you see that she's confronting everybody. Here she went off on Popeyes. Um, this Killstream guy. Where's the one about me? There it is. Oh well, here's she. She just shared my one of my videos. Oh, uh, I haven't even listened to the whole video. Fuck, I can't find it. Let's go to let's let's go to her, her channel and find it. And she lives here in Tucson. Yeah. And she's been threatening to talk to everybody she meets about me. And I'm a street artist, so you never know. Yeah. You know, I got a, I had no trouble getting a uh, restraining order on Purdue. I just had trouble getting collecting it. Um. Where 
there's the Tommy Tutor video. Let's see if there's a search. All right, you get an idea. She, you see what she does, and oh, yeah. she made one of these about me. And she lives here in town. She's going to tell everybody she meets that I'm a fucking sexual predator. Hmm. Okay. So that's not First Amendment protected. Uh, the, the direct threat that you can come here and beat me up is not First Amendment protected. Yeah, it's, I saw it's, that. It's, it's violations of state and federal law. And here we are. So okay. that's all I need to talk to you about. No, well, I took pictures of everything, and I'll find Sergeant Pike's initial Great. case. And I'll, uh, I'll just document everything under Super. that. Super. So. Nice. Scroll. Scroll, yeah. Well, it was nice talking with Thanks. you, Tommy. And Happy I'll, day. Uh, if, uh, should you ever request a copy of the case report, you'll see everything you and I Great. saw put in there. Super. Well. You guys are busy, aren't you? You need his butt. Yeah. We're, we're ahead of the plan. Well, thanks for, thanks for giving me so much so yeah. much of this time. What we do. Uh, Take care of yourself. I don't have to. I, I work for God. Well, I'll let you need us again. That's how I take care of myself, because you guys work for God, too. Happy day. Thank you. This should be fun. This should be, like, amusing. <laughs> uh, amusing uh, to see the reactions of the idiots of this one. How long has this been on? An uh, hour and 11 minutes. This ought to be a good one. Um, let's go see what's current over at Kiwi Farms. I really should go to the grocery store and the laundry today, but I'm just not feeling motivated enough to do either. I totally don't have, oh, I, you know, I need to go to the grocery store and get, I got nothing. I mean, I'm down, I, 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 I'm down to just ketchup and horseradish, I think, I forget. I, I don't have any mustard or mayonnaise at all. Um, no eggs, no produce. A little bit. I, I mean, I got a little bit of celery and a little bit of carrot that I was going to do up um, in a curry with some beans that I just ate like straight out of the bag instead of um, making the curry with it. So that's still all sitting. Um, I need to go to the grocery store. Well, let's let's take a look at Kiwi Farms. There's nothing. But well, before I leave the A and B, let's see if there's anything actually worth reading there. Um, Actually, you know, they say, oh, he's his own work sending. To people like you, to people like the police and art lovers and people wanting to learn about what's really true in this world and enduring and not to colonial, colonize bullshit you fucking white supremacists are selling. <laughs> I forget exactly what he said. Uh, what Einstein says is, you know, if you're right, you're right, and just because everybody else else believes something else, if you know the true fact, 
stick to it. They're all wrong. Yeah, rather than read any of this and respond to any of this, like I, I responded to the uh, to the OP with you know, this, they're talking about my dog training, and I responded to the OP. You disgusting excuses for men will be the archetypes for a mental illness that I hope to get included in a DSM six or seven, sadomasochistic voyeurism. You're a very deceitful and petty white supremacist. You disgust me. 
And then for the crowd, the patriarchal authoritarianism and religious nationalism of your forebears has produced an undeniably insane generation of crass, craven, and fatally stupid perverts. You're traveling down an entirely different reality line than my family is traveling. And I pity you for what you're going to meet at the end of the road. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let these people, you know, I'm not going to even read this shit because all they're doing is trying to, you know, get an emotional response out of me. And, and what happens is they do manage to get the adrenaline rushing just looking at their shit. And that's very uncomfortable inside me. Which is why, you know, that's why I'll, you know, get a little passionate for a moment is to just clear that ugly, ugly energy out of my system. Well, it's starting to get a little warm in here. Oh, we have a response from Ride.
So here's the, the last, the last uh, demand. This is Ride reacting, responding to the last demand. So I'm saying I'm respectfully insisting that you guys need to post a disclaimer, an honest bio about me, just to comply with your own rules. So I, you know, um, Ride come back with what I think would work better is if you recorded a video, sort of an introduction to Tommy Tudor. You can host it on your YouTube channel and I can pin it up. You can refute all the false claims people make against you and you can do it in a way that no one can edit or adulterate it. You can tell people everything they should know and what is false. I feel like you should be thorough in addressing the false claims and in getting people familiarized with your content. I think that would work a lot better as people here tend to like videos more than reading. And I, 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 uh, I responded with, if you pin it up with the statement that the facts alleged in my forum are not true, that would be adequate. I made several videos like that. One of them was edited to make it sound like I was admitting to those things. And that resulted in a huge financial casualty loss when a liar convinced a show promoter to throw me out. Plus, the guy owns five hotels, and I'm on his list of people to throw out when spotted. Um, I've been swatted three times and run out of numerous networks with this bullshit, including the local trans activists and deadheads. You need to make a strong statement about the real harm that their fun and games is causing me and dozens of other queer artists. They're trashing with their toxic fan fiction about us being circulated to gullible people as documented fact. And that's probably enough for this. I doubt if there's anything else worth even looking at with these idiots. Ride reacted to my post in the thread for demands as informative. Yeah, here's, yeah, here's a good example of uh, the stalking and bullshit. Um, here's Sneasel grabbed this, you know, got the video from Bucket, who, who said, fuck him. I'm not going to, you know, fuck him and his confidentiality. I'll just share it. Which is okay by me. It's just like, okay, do whatever you're going to do, man. I, I'm just, this is how I feel about it. Whether you're going to respect that or not, it's up to you. Um, here's, here's, here's Sneasel. The keylogger is added again. This time, it, you know, he's admitting to a, a theft. This time it intercepted this video Tom sent to someone on AMB, but for some reason he begins it by addressing it to Ride. That's because the video was sent to Ride first and the copy was sent to AMB. Who knows? He looks like he is hitting the heroin pretty hard. So here's here's Kami, Kami Doc's girl, or Kami Dick girl. This guy does not ever know when to quit with his corpse ass and has been shitting up Null's inbox for days after trying to set up a stupid debate or whatever. Miss Tommy Jane Waterberg, you raped a dog and child! There is nothing to debate here. Nobody thinks you're, you're, that's, that's Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, you dumb idiot. Nobody, nobody in your world is, is, is somebody who would think I'm a good person. Anybody who thinks you're a good person is going to hate me. Please stop wasting the world's supply of heroin, only taking enough to continue enjoying it in overdose already. Here's somebody telling me, you know, something that's not true about myself, encouraging me to kill myself. And when I didn't respond right away, in a couple hours, she tried again. The good thing is that if he, even if he somehow gets a judge order to shut me up, and violates my First Amendment rights systematically, we all know this rapist is far too proud of their degeneracy and will never stop bragging about it until the day they die, which hopefully they will cause themselves to do just that very soon. Kill yourself, Tom. 
world would be a better place with one less pet or dog fucker in existence. The world will be a real good place with somebody like you who spreads false witness and attacks people that are innocent. How many fucking people have you confronted just because they aren't cranny enough for you? What a fucking piece of shit you are. And, and your makeup, you look like a fucking clown. Will you put it on with a shovel? <laughs> I'm through with these people for the day. My, 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 my jaw is too inflamed. It's getting late. I need to make an appointment. I'm cutting this off. I need to relax. Bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. As the South Tucson Police Department is working with me, as you could tell, if you were really paying attention and not just looking for stuff you could laugh at. Happy day. Thanks for watching. Bye.